Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day and today in Division 2 we're going to be going over some upcoming global events and the ongoing one, Wraith event. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button and if you like this video, go ahead and smash that button. It really helps. We are growing into a nice little Division 2 channel and we would love to have you along for the ride. First off, I wanted to touch on the last resort apparel event. Did you guys get any of your keys back? I was a little disappointed because what the developers originally said is that we would get the keys back for like every three or four shade levels, but we only ended up getting three keys. At least that's all I got, which was disappointing because I think I grinded out like over 40 or 50 shade levels. I wish I would have got those back, but we didn't. We also had the manhunt for Wraith going on and including with that started Wraith League. And if you didn't know what that was, it's a pretty simple global event, but these small global events are so important, especially for gearing in certain items. We can get weapons that we couldn't normally get that we may have to just grind out or we may have to go to the dark zone. And if you're not a fan of the dark zone, I do not blame you. There's nothing worse when you're just trying to farm out a couple pieces. Like let's say we have Emperor Guards for say on sale through one of the vendors. And if you were trying to farm out just that piece for your set and you keep running into these roving gangs of rogues, it can be pretty frustrating and you just don't want to be in here. So that's why these global events are so important. They give us special rewards, cool collectibles, as well as ways to to get gear that would be otherwise unattainable. Now let's get into what we have to do to earn these special rewards during the Wraith League. So most of them are pretty simple and you'll see this in a lot of the small global events that it's usually the same thing, time trials and we have to kill elites and do some other special thing. So this week or this week and next week so you do not need to rush it and I'm gonna go into what you should be going if you just wanna do it this week and you're not worried about the collectible. So the easy ones, we we have Grand Washington Hotel, Jefferson Trade Center, Bank Headquarters, and District Union Arena. So these are all time trials and they're pretty easy. You can do it, you want to do it on hard and challenging. You have to do it on those modes. So when you go up and choose your difficulty, there'll be a little blue trophy sign so make sure you click it on that difficulty so we're getting progress for our rewards now as you can also see you'll see hyenas dazed and hyena elites killed the elites is killed you're going to do that passively while you're doing the missions but the hyenas dazed i honestly wouldn't try going after it it's just going to slow you down unless you are trying to get this all done in one week which you're just going to waste more time trying to get it all done and you can just wait till next week for it to reset and do one or two of the time trials it's not that hard it's not that difficult the only thing that you will notice you see i have bank headquarters 9 out of 10 because i did all this solo and i forgot on bank headquarters when you get into the vault i was just trying to mow them all down and finish this but if you go past the little vault part you'll fail the mission and i'll have to admit this i did this twice i failed the mission twice so i missed my time trial by like one minute so just be careful on that one if you're worried about that but otherwise it was pretty easy and let's get into the rewards all right as you can see the first couple tiers we don't really get anything nice i believe the fourth tier we get unmarked shade supplies and now these are a nice thing to go after because it is random gear and it's a huge loophole but you just might get lucky and it's very easy to get up to these first five or six tiers and it's very lucrative for rewards so you can get a named item i believe you can get anything from the dark zone or light zone pretty much any random item in the game as long as it's not locked behind like the raid like the eagle bearer now this is why we want to do the global events and even the small ones like this on the sixth tier, we get the named item cash now this named item will be any named item in the entire game dark zone light zone does not matter and it's very worth it i got a really nice dark winner out of a named cache and it's an amazing role and if you don't know what dark winner is it's a vector with perfect killer gives you 50 percent critical hit damage on kill and it hits like a truck and was roll great it may not always roll great this time i got a cold relations and it's a pp19 i was very disappointed so it's not always going to be perfect and you're not always going to get great gear but it is worth it because a lot of these tiers like the fifth or sixth tier you can reach within an hour or under two hours of gameplay and you're done and you don't have to mess with it and you might just get that god roll item that you have been looking for and now i will be completing this event next week because i'm just 
just not going to grind and days hyenas. It's just, it's just not, not worth my time. And I would not do it unless you're just being a crazy man or crazy woman and you just want to go out there and do it. But we get a collectible at the end, which is an opera mask and which is sad because I wish it was an actual mask. I know I saw someone post on Reddit like, I can't wear my mask. I never got it. And no, no, you put it on your backpack. It's too bad. But it would have been cool to wear like a Phantom of the Opera mask running around Washington, D.C. and New York. And now on to next week's global event. It is one of the modifiers one. So the NBCs are going to be buffed to hell. And hopefully we will get some nice buffs like they promised us. But we will just see. But what it says in game is hostile factions have deployed firearm resistant fields. So there's red belts throw them away break them with explosive emp or special weapon damage so you could even use that perk on the chest i think it's reassigned where you always get special weapon damage i think one bullet but it really wouldn't be worth it it says emp so i'm hoping our jammer pulse and we can just knock it out and we'll be good to go and we can still use red bills but we'll find out and explosives so get those seeker builds those mortars anything just to blow it up those grenade builds break out the costa bag whatever it may be it looks like it's going to be a fun event and i can't wait to go into depth and in details and we'll have more details on tuesday or maybe sooner but until then i will see you guys next time and i hope you guys have a great day and good luck farming <laughs>